I have been doing research on different different uh, issues. One of them is um, migration research, uh, mainly focus on focusing on migrant organizations coming from different countries of origin, um, located in Germany and Austria mainly, and how these migrant organizations um, kind of contribute to the integration of migrants in the countries of arrival, but at the same time how they, um, let's say, engage in transnational activities. So this is one issue. And the second issue uh, which I have been working on is um, faith-based humanitarian organizations working in Austria and Germany and Pakistan. And when I think of these two different issues and on the subject of the, the workshop here, then I see lots of, lots of um, crossing points. And one of them is the global cooperation because the migration uh, policy as well as um, humanitarian strategies or humanitarian action, these are issues that nation states or local governments cannot handle by themselves alone in today's world. These are all, uh, these, these require all um, global cooperation because it exceeds the borders of nation states. When we think about uh, the catastrophe which happened in Philippines, um, it's not possible for the, f uh, the, the government in Philippines to react by itself, right? So it requires global cooperation. And when I um, heard about the, the workshop, it was, um, it was very interesting for me because it's exactly the subject that I'm working on. It's the, the cultural diversity and how it can be um, accommodated in global cooperation. What do you see as a major challenge for effective work of these organizations? Mm -hmm. So there are um, mainly three questions that, um, that I think of. The first one is um, how much space is there for um, cultural diversity in global cooperation? And the second question is how much space should there be <laughs> Uh, for cultural diversity in global cooperation. Not how much space is there be, but should there be. Especially when I think of issues such as women rights, discrimination of women in certain local areas. Um, so I'm thinking how much space should there be for these different ideas, for, for these cultural diversities in global cooperation. And the third question um, would be who should decide what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. For example, if we think about different types of organizations, like let's say a Catholic organization which is uh, located in uh, Germany and works in Pakistan, the organization has, uh, let's say, working in different contexts, right? In a mostly Catholic country and in a mostly Muslim country. So this organization may have some difficulties legitimizing itself in Pakistan, whereas in in Germany, if you look at the, the number of donors, the number of uh, supporters, uh, so you will see that the same problems, it doesn't, it doesn't have, it, have it in Germany. And when you compare this mainly Catholic organization, uh, Catholic humanitarian organization, with a, let's say, Muslim humanitarian organization, um, then you would see that this Muslim organization may have, uh, may have, um, difficulties maybe in Germany because of the Islamophobia uh, and but it will it will it will enjoy let's say trust maybe in Pakistan just because of the cultural proximity the the, the religious um, religious background of the organization and it might it might access people much more easily let's say than a Catholic organization.